This guide is meant for those who have a grasp of basic Smash concepts and terminology. If you do not understand any terms I use, or need some explanations for more baseline techniques, I've left some resources in the description that should be a better starting point. Everything talked about in this guide applies to both Peach and Daisy, as there are no notable differences between them. Princess Peach. Characterized by her high heels, Mushroom Kingdom crown, and gentle nature, she appears to be a cookie cutter representation of the traditional princess motifs. Her appearance in Smash Ultimate, however, is anything but typical. Peach's playstyle at first glance can be difficult for newer players to identify. She doesn't have an exceptional spacing game, her zoning is average at best, and while she has quick moves, she lacks the base air and ground speeds to break an opponent's space like a rushdown character can. All these below average characteristics may make her seem like a lackluster character on the surface, but she possesses a singular ability that no other character on the roster has. Her float. While it might only seem like a gimmicky mechanic that could be useful in recovering offstage, it actually has much larger implications that define her playstyle. This movement option in conjunction with the rest of her kit elevates her moves together to flow into a technical, mix-up heavy, and pressure-based character. Utilizing different flow cancelling techniques, she can achieve nauseating movement that helps her remain unpredictable and allows the player to microspace more so than most other characters can. This also allows her to float cancel her aerials close to the ground to create intense shield pressure strings that can lead to large follow-up combos. Now let's dive into examining the character's moves as well as practical uses for them. Jab. A quick two-part move that pushes the opponent safely away. Use this move when an opponent is pressuring you on the ground and you need room to breathe or as a last resort in your pressure string. Also, the first hit can be used to jab block your opponent after they miss attack, allowing for an extension to your combo. Forward tilt. Probably the least useful of her tilt moves with a somewhat long cooldown time and little possibility for follow-ups after a hit. Use this move mainly for its hitbox, its ability to anti-air, and sometimes to end combo strings. Forward Smash Peach's forward smash is unique in that there are actually three different forward smashes that she is able to perform. By charging the smash attack, you'll be able to change to the one you wish to input by tilting your control stick up or down. It should be noted that you can access these variations without charging if you quickly flick your control stick up or down after your forward smash input. In the neutral position, you will get the golf club. This is one of her weakest in terms of kill power, but boasts the most impressive overall range, allowing it to be occasionally used for spacing or stopping an air approach. Tennis Racket is the downwards angled forward smash and possesses the second largest hitbox as well as the strongest horizontal kill power. Use this variation to kill opponents early near the side of the stage, as well as to push characters with poor recoveries farther off stage. Frying Pan is Peach's final forward smash, and is done with the upwards tilt. This is her strongest and most consistent killing forward smash that sends opponents at a near vertical angle with high knockback, although it also has the smallest range. Down tilt. Peach's go-to ground option. It's quick, safe on shield, and on hit it leads to massive rewards. Use this move as a safe poke in neutral to mix up your pressure strings or as one of your main combo starters. It can also lead into kill confirms at certain percents. Down smash. A fast, multi-hit move with below average killing potential. The cooldown on this move is very long, so missing it will lead to you receiving a large punish most likely. It is best used on an opponent with a low shield in an attempt to shield poke or as a way to catch an opponent's recovery due to its low position hitbox. Up tilt. A good anti-aerial move with a large disjoint. Typically, we'll find use in catching your opponent's landing option, but its horizontal hitbox is somewhat lacking and difficult to hit on grounded opponents. On hit, it can lead to follow-ups on certain characters, but is overshadowed a bit by float cancel up air. Use it to mix up your timings with up air for platform pressure as well. Up smash. A large hitbox surrounds Peach and extends upward into a strong heart-shaped point above her head. On grounded opponents, it seems difficult, if at all possible, to connect with a sweet spot, but it has decent killing power even with the weaker one. 
Use this for catching landings, pressuring platforms, and chasing down opponents at kill percents. Dash Attack The princess's dash attack is a quick and disjointed sparkling lunge. It can be used as a burst option to break through enemy defenses and as a solid option for enemy low and mid percent combos. It is also a later kill option, usually KOing upwards of 150% on most characters. Neutral Air As with most of her aerial tools, this is a short range, damaging move that is particularly useful after a ground float. Mix this in a decent bit with your shield pressure as it is safe on shield and can lead to big follow ups at low and mid percents. Also, can be a good out of shield option with a short hop or ground float. Forward Air after taking off her crown, Peach swings her arm out in front of her, providing her farthest reaching aerial attack. Although the range is great, it isn't very disjointed and has a long startup, so don't mindlessly spam it or you'll just get overwhelmed. Its kill power has also been reduced from previous incarnations, but the lower landing lag means it can be used as a combo starter at low percents as well now. Learning to space this move can help in forming an effective neutral plan and can condition your opponent to respect your range in order to force them into shield and start your effective pressure game. Use this move as a way to mix up your neutral timings and to catch an opponent off guard at kill percent. Back Air Her most versatile and useful aerial. This is a powerful, quick spacing tool with a good size hitbox that can punish opponents and start combos at low percents. Bear is the move most commonly used in neutral for most Peach players because of its quick startup, low cooldown, and potential for rewards. Even more so than forward air, learning to utilize this move in neutral properly will elevate your game. Make sure to mix this attack into your pressure strings and learn different spacings on an opponent's shield to keep them guessing. This move is also quite good at crossing up an opponent who is shielding, which can bait them into shield grabbing or trying to punish you in the wrong location, opening them up to your powerful combo starters. Up Air This move is a solid disjointed rainbow that Peach draws over her head. It is her main tool for catching opponents trying to land with its large hitbox and ability to lead into combos, most typically into itself. Use this move with ground floating to create a strong advantage when pressuring a character shielding on a platform, or as a quick anti-air that allows you to continually adjust your spacing. Down Air Another important piece to your pressure and mix-up game, this move helps start some aerial combos and when combined with floating can be an intimidating way to begin your pressure. This move will primarily be used from the head height float, but short hop down air can also be a good form of pressure that allows for variations in how your pressure can continue. If you buffer the dare, you'll be able to use your double jump right before you land, allowing you to then transition into another dare from head height or simply float away to bait your opponent into trying to punish along with numerous other options. Pay attention to your positioning when hitting this move, because the last hit actually determines which way the character will fly, depending on the side that your final blow lands on them relative to their center of mass. Neutral Special Toad This is a counter move, and generally considered one of the weaker ones in the game. It connects pretty inconsistently, especially in the air, and its kill power isn't anything special. Use this primarily as an edge guard for certain recoveries, or as an unexpected option when you think the opponent might hit you and your options are limited. Side Special Peach Bomber A far-reaching lunging attack that causes Peach to bounce off an enemy or their shield on hit. Use this as a recovery option or to chase down an opponent, particularly for punishing rolls. This move also does a considerable amount of shield damage, so it can come in handy as a surprise end to your pressure for a shield break. Also can be linked into from some combo starters. This move does have quite a bit of end lag when whipped, however, there is a certain spacing you can use that will cancel the lag upon landing, allowing you to quickly get back to stage or surprise an enemy, expecting an easy punish. Up Special Parasol Peach extends her parasol upwards until it opens, causing her to float back down to the stage slowly. As a recovery, this move is incredibly useful, allowing Peach to come back to the stage from great distances. You can close and open your parasol as many times as you'd like before you land, which can be a good way to alter your momentum and make it harder to punish. When used from below the ledge, you can ride along the wall, and the parasol hitbox will clip through the ground near the edge, which can poke an opponent if they stand too close. Also has uses as a combo ender. Some niche uses punishing things at a shield, and can be confirmed into off of down tilt at kill percents. Down special. Vegetables. Sometimes referred to as turnips, this move is their only projectile and has a random chance to spawn different types of vegetables as well as the super rare Mr. Saturn or Babam. 
use these often as they are one of her primary tools for helping the princess open people up to begin her offense. They can true combo into certain moves and are a welcome addition to her edge guarding potency. There is a lot you can do with turnips, and in a future video I plan to go more in depth with the extent of their usefulness as well as show off some tricks and setups. Grab Game Peach's throws are actually quite good compared to the average character in this game. Because of this, it is important to mix them into your pressure so that your opponent has yet another option they must be wary of. Otherwise, they'll be taking hefty amounts of damage from cowering in her shield. Forward throw is best used to push opponents off stage, to set up for edge guards, or simply to take stage control. Back throw can be used similarly, but also doubles as a kill throw at later percents, especially near the ledge. Up throw is probably her least useful, but can occasionally be used to set up for juggles against characters with poor landing options. Down throw is her main combo throw, and allows Peach to rack up good damage even up to later percents. Since Peach is so technically demanding, it is best that you optimize your settings to allow you to better control the character. The only setting I feel is almost necessary in learning her properly is changing one of your shoulder buttons to jump. This lets you input your jump without forcing your thumb to leave the attack button or C-stick, which helps you input attacks quicker and more precisely after initiating float. Make sure that the button you change is the shield button you use less often. I prefer L. Another viable option that is less commonly used is to hold your controller in a sort of claw grip bringing your index finger up and over to the face of your controller to input your jumps. The next most important setting is changing your C-Stick to Tilt Attack. This makes it so it's much easier to use running tilts, which can help you attack at the right distances in neutral and extend your combos. Aside from that, most everything else is preference, but I like to have Grab on Y, Rumble, AB Smash Attack, and Stick Jump all set to off. Stick sensitivity is also something that's been talked about for a while now. I have it set to high because it seems to help with inputting certain things. Peach is on the slower side of the cast, but she isn't unbearably slow. Her dash dance is serviceable and can help you stay mobile. Her wave dash is probably even worse than most other characters, simply because float movement can do basically the same thing, but better. Speaking of which, Peach's float can be activated by holding the jump button until you reach the apex of your jump but it is much more practical to activate by holding down your jump button and pressing down on the control stick at the exact moment you want to float. This gives you near unlimited options for when and where to float so that you can mix up your timings and augment your recovery. If you want to activate your float while you are already in the air, make sure you are holding down before you input your jump so that you don't accidentally use your double jump if you don't want to. Although there are many techniques that stem from this basic ability, I'll be covering the two most important ones to get you started. Ground float is the most useful and basic styles of floating. To input this, make sure you are holding down before you input your jump. Continue holding the jump after the float begins to extend the duration. Once here, Peach is granted access to her powerful aerial attacks almost immediately from a grounded position, so that she can apply pressure and space effectively. Nair and Bear are the most important moves to learn their timing, as they can be used for solid shield pressure and punishing, but you should still practice multiple timings with all of your aerials from this state so that you can learn how they fit into the overall playstyle. Head Height Float This is more of a way to space your float, rather than a separate technique, but this spacing is key to the core playstyle of Peach. The goal is to space your float so that you stop at a height that is best for Dare to connect fully on the character, correctly setting up for follow-ups while also being high enough to avoid the majority of that enemy character's grounded options. As annoying as it is, every character has a slightly different optimal height you must float at to be in the right position, so it will be necessary for you to practice on the widest variety of characters you can. On the subject of practice, these skills take time to master, and you will need to be in the right environment to do so. Go to the training room and set up an enemy character you enjoy hitting, typically a heavier fast faller. And once you enter the stage, try to dissect the technique one step at a time. You need to allow your hands to grasp the basic movements before you add more inputs or increase the timing. For ground floats, start by holding down on your control stick, letting your character crouch. Then, press and hold the jump button so that your character begins floating. Feel the movement of the float. See how your momentum is carried, how long it lasts. Do it again, and again. Try moving and ending the float at specific points on the stage or in front of your opponent. Once you have a good feeling for this, try to speed it up. Stand still and try gradually increasing how quickly you are entering and leaving float, and try to become decently quick but not too fast to where you're constantly messing it up. Consistency is better when first learning. 
Then, try ground floating and letting go while moving. Try walking or running into it. For me, it's easier to roll the control stick from the left or right position down to initiate the float, rather than letting it go back to a neutral position. Before you try adding the aerials, take out the movement again, stick with ground floating from standing still and inputting your aerial. Then, increase your speed a bit and introduce movement back when you're ready. For the dare float height, you need to mostly practice the timings on your own. The best tip I can give you as a guideline is to try and line up the bottom of the dress with the top of the character's head. Now, you just need consistent practice and eventually these movements will feel second nature. As I said earlier, Peach doesn't really fit into his standard character archetype, and due to this uniqueness, she may feel awkward at first before you understand the flow of her game plan. Her ability to microspace her moves with Float allows her to outspace and bait her opponents into choosing a laggy option that can be used as an opportunity to cash in on her long combos and or begin her terrifyingly oppressive shield pressure. Peach is a character that may make you want to run straight at your enemy. Throwing out your most powerful combo starters on a whim, and while this strategy can work in certain matchups, it's important to understand that most other characters will either outrange you, outspeed you, or outzone you. This is where float movement becomes essential, and it is the source of most of your openings. Understanding Peach's goal is more so understanding the goal of the character you are facing, and using her extraordinary ability to maneuver around hitboxes and potential hitboxes so that you can create openings for yourself. Having a turn up in hand also helps to extend your threat range beyond your normal hitboxes. Holding an item also doesn't limit her as much as other characters, because she can input her floating aerials without throwing them. Try to use Peach's float to alternate between different heights to avoid incoming attacks, then retaliate with your aerials and start pushing your advantage. It would be hard to convince me that Peach is not one of the most difficult characters to understand and play effectively in Smash Ultimate. As a new player learning her, you should know that she isn't easy to pick up, and will require you to put in some extra effort in order to become proficient with her. That being said, this character is extremely good, and most top players are hailing her as one of the best characters in the early period of the game, and she will likely only improve as more techniques and setups are discovered. You should play Peach if... You enjoy pushing your advantage state to its limit. You like learning and applying advanced techniques in your gameplay. You're looking for a character more technically demanding. You'd like to have access to some additional forms of movement, or you want access to some of the most disrespectful win quotes in Ultimate. Well, that's it. I hope this video helped anyone out there trying to learn Peach and Daisy in this game. I'm going to start uploading videos primarily talking about these characters, because I named Peach in Smash 4 and I'll most likely be maining her again given the current roster we have. If you have any suggestions or ideas for future videos, whether it be examining top players or looking into a specific tech, I'd certainly be willing to see about making content on most subjects regarding these characters. I have two videos in the works, one involving turnips and their uses, and the other on trying to better explain Peach's neutral but I think that one will have to wait until the game develops a bit more. Anyways, thanks to the Peach Discord for helping me develop a few of my ideas, and remember, I've left quite a few videos in the description for understanding fundamentals as well as some quality Peach and Daisy content creators. Thanks for watching, and I hope to talk to you again in my next video.